Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. Every so often, um, you stumble across a great song. And fortunately, the New York Times this morning told me Katie Gregson McLeod's TikTok hit, Complex, is worth paying attention to. And it is. It's got a couple of melodic conceits that are smart and beautiful, a great chord progression. Let's take a look at what makes it tick. It's brilliant. <music> The first thing to know is the chord progression. Um, it runs like this, uh, C, E minor over B, A minor, F over C. And then the whole thing happens again and again and again. The voicing varies a little bit and a different bottom note and a different melody in the vocal sometimes changes the feeling of the chord. But let's talk about it. I've written out the lyrics and the chords above it. And I want to point out to you something really important, which is right here. You can see the, I've, I've written the target melody tone because this tiny little phrase that repeats again and again and again, the target tone, the last tone keeps changing in very interesting ways. All right, so. The target tone is C. The target tone is C again while you're playing an E minor chord. And that makes it kind of a C major 7 sound. That battle between those two tones is so poignant. And the heart-rending quality of the lyric is emphasized in this beautiful way. We won't be together. The C goes beautifully with the A minor chord but maybe the ne in the next life, the C goes really well with the F chord as well. Okay, second part of this chorus. I need him like water, we go to C again, but this time. And that B there is just so lovely. Of course, it makes perfect sense with the chords, but it sounds destabilized, right? The B is the leading tone to the tonic of our key, and as a result, we feel a little burn melodically there. It wants to come back to C, and sure enough, it does. I cry in his bathroom. He turns off the big light, right? So smart, that one B sitting there in the second sort of stanza of the chorus is so smart. Now, we've talked a lot about how the ninth, the second step of the major scale, is playing right now in chord progressions in pop music. The next stanza hammers that home. C chord, I'm being a cool girl. There's a D, she's so cool, it's a D, it's the ninth. I'm keeping it so tight, there's the D again. So smart. Back to the C for the A minor. And then um, the C again for the F chord. I need him like water. Now, this is interesting to me. It's happened in the stanza before as well, and it happens here. The C chord is played with a G in the bass, right? It's a very different kind of C chord, and it makes it sound a little more plaintive. And actually, it's kind of a gospel sound, really, if you get right down to it. Uh, where are we? I need him like water, right? I need him like water. Um, he thinks that I'm all right. There's the B again. I'm not feeling human. I think he's a good guy. That's the first time we've had that low A. And that A below middle C is kind of, no, it's, the, it's below a soprano's range, technically. It's kind of an alto tone. And then she goes down, but it's complex, right? So the next thing that she does, but it's complex, that's a G. And then the B. And then she, on the piano part, she just plays the A minor chord and the F. The target tones, first the C and then the B, back to the C. And then the second stanza, the repetition of the D, the ninth, 
create a destabilized, energized, forward-moving melody. Now, this is kind of an intellectual analysis, I know, and it's conceivable that she wasn't even really thinking about this intellectually as she was doing it. And a lot of the time, you know, people don't do this, but they don't really think about these kinds of things, but it's a powerful tool and one that you can be aware of as you train your ears to hear these notes within the scale and chords. I love how the choice of notes works with words. Let's take a quick look at that before we wrap up. So the first time, the first series of target notes are, C, are all Cs, and then he lives on a landslide. Landslide is where we hear the B. The word landslide, such a destabilized, energized word, and we get that B, right? Oh, it's so beautiful. And then the repetition of the D, the ninth, back and forth again. Well, it's a great song to fiddle around with, to play, to enjoy for yourself, to analyze. She's put up the full version of it on the YouTube channel, really just as a, as a demo, I guess. Uh, maybe an unpublished song, as far as I know. But I'm really grateful that it exists. I'm super excited about what else is coming from this, uh, this songwriter. Hey, this is fun. I hope it's been useful. Dig into songs that turn you on. There's always something there for you. Maybe it's something you can use for yourself. Like and subscribe. Ding the bell. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.